Hello Power Rangers Lightning Collection fans and welcome back to Rangers of the Universe. I'm Chris and I'll be doing a video review of Power Rangers Lightning Collection Dino Thunder Yellow. So this is the next figure from Wave 12 that I have gotten in. I've already done Lost Galaxy Green. That video has been up and posted as well as Wave 13's Dino Fury Green. So make sure to check out my Lost Galaxy Green and Dino Fury Green videos and see my thoughts on them to make a decision on whether to get them if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and talk about Dino Thunder Yellow. So she is the fourth Dino Thunder Ranger we've gotten in the line. We have gotten red, blue, and white. And black was teased at PulseCon. 2022 on September 30th. So, Dino Thunder Black is coming in the in wave 14 next year, 2023. So, we will have Dino Thunder completed. The main 5 will be done. I'm not counting like obviously there's the power-ups of Super Dino mode, Triassic Ranger mode. So, there are still Dino Thunder figures left to be had, which are the power-ups for the main 5. But we are at least all set with this phase of Dino Thunder. So let's go ahead and talk about the box. Now this, as I said in my Lost Galaxy Green video, this is the last wave with the Tom Whalen artwork. So this is it. Wave 13, my Dino Fury Green video, that started the plastic free packaging. So no more of the side Tom Whalen art of the figure, Dino Thunder Yellow Ranger there. We've got the Dino Thunder emblem right at the top, which that does stay on the new things. The new Plastic Free also has the team name on the side, which is amazing. On the back, we have the physical render of the figure. You can see the physical render looks amazing. It's an amazing figure. I'm so glad Kira joined the line. So we have the usual Tom Whalen artwork that we've gotten. For 12 waves, over 100 figures, bunch of role play items, helmets, everything. So let's go ahead and open up Kira. Here is Dino Thunder Yellow Kira. So, as you can see, we have the double jointed pinless elbows, the double jointed pinless legs, pinless knees. So, it is pinless, Dino Thunder Yellow. Now, let's check the joints. See if they're loose. Alright. See how tight they are. There we go. Alright. Everything definitely looks good so far. Alright. Elbows tight. That's alright. Not too bad, though. Alright. Not too bad. So overall, taking a look at it, off the glance, it looks fantastic. It had all the items. Everything was complete. All right, we've got a left hand, right hand. You see the Dino Thunder emblem on the chest. I know some people, they complain that the black, you don't have the black outlines on the diamonds, on the zigzags. But, I mean, we didn't get that with Dino Thunder blue and red. So I didn't expect it with the yellow, plus that'd be very meticulous work, and it's not all that big of a deal to me. We have the Morpher, you can definitely see. It does look like a Terra, so the Morpher sculpt is absolutely fantastic. I do really like the Morpher sculpt for Dino Thunder Yellow. You have the little piece on the hands, hand guards. I've got the belt nice and tight. The figure looks absolutely amazing. I love the Terra helmet. You can see the eyes there, the detail in it, the brake, the mask, the uh, visor. So it absolutely looks fantastic. I absolutely love the Donald Thunder figures. I love this season. So I was so happy she's in the line. Let's see how she stands up upon first glance. All right, she bounces right away, which is good. Have to work on that, but yeah. She looks absolutely fantastic. You know, we have the neck articulation. All right, that's good. Yep, 
So articulation, you've got the chest articulation, everything like that. The articulation, it's a rubber belt, so rubber skirt. So you can do that. All right, so off the first glance, the figure does look absolutely amazing. I am really happy with it. I absolutely loved this wave. I think it was a very good, well done wave that they did. I think the figure choices were excellent. So let me see about removing the head, how this goes. So with the hell off, it has the usual ball joint like that. That's what you get with the figure. So let's try seeing about getting this on. All right, not too bad at all. That was not difficult, which was good. So here is the Emilahana Kira head sculpt. So I definitely do see resemblance here. You know, definitely having the bangs were the way to go. It definitely gives that more vibe that it is Kira. You know, I mean, there's only so much they can do, especially with the makeup factor of it type of thing. But I think they did a great job. With this Kira head sculpt, Emma Lahana, I do see the likeness with it. So I definitely think it's one of the, it's a better one. I definitely think as waves progress, the head sculpts are getting better, are getting better and more accurate. So I do like this one. I see resemblance, which is always what you like to hear. That's what you like to see. And you want to be able to say when you are doing the review, that the figure does have resemblance to the character, to the actor, and you do see the likeness. So, that is the Kira Emma Lahana head sculpt that you get with the figure. Now, let's change it back into the helmet. We're back with the helmet. So, wanted to finish the video, the rest of the video up with this. Also, with Dino Thunder Yellow, I forgot to mention... It's another figure added for the Once a Ranger crossover set. So if you want that set, we do have an SPD Red. It is the Jack version. I hope at some point we get a Bridge version. Because SPD Red, because it was so early on in the line, it is also like going for a lot of money now. It is not cheap anymore. So I do hope that we get a Bridge version of it. So I can get a hold of another one. I only have the one. So I'd like a bridge version of it. All right. So let's put in the terror grips. Well, first off, let's show off the gun. The uh, Thunder, so Thunder Max Blaster. Let's put that in. And show off this unique effect piece. So this is the first time this effect piece is brand new to the line. It is an effect piece for the Thunder Max Saber. The Thunder Max Blaster. So I absolutely... Alright, just fell off. I absolutely love this effect piece. I love the new like... The nice like ice blue kind of color. It's a cool effect piece. It is brand new to the line. This wave I believe... Damon was a new effect piece. I believe Adam is. I don't know about Max. I think all four might be new effect pieces. I'd have to wait till I see and get Max in hand to realize it. But this wave definitely had unique effect pieces. And this is definitely one of them. And of course you can alternate this and use it for the Thunder Max Blaster. For Connor or Ethan as well. It'll work for any of them. So, you can do that, or you can put the Thunder Max Blaster in here. Now, it is a tight fit, but you do, you can get it in. It's definitely a tight fit because of the saber part that's above it. So, it is hard to fit in. You have to kind of like stretch this out a bit, but you are able to get it in. So there's that, and then it comes with both of her signature weapons, the Terror Grips. So it comes with the Terror Grip as well. Yep, so. Alright, so we've got her Terror Grips. Her signature weapon. 
as you can see. So, Kira's signature weapon is here, the Terror Grips. And you can see her signature, I think her signature pose for Once a Ranger. I think she was like this type of thing, or something like that. How was she? I'd have to look it up. Hopefully next year, I'm hoping we get Mystic Force Green and Ninja Storm Blue. I'm hoping that we get them too. So we can have the Once Ranger set. Other than obviously we need the Operation Overdrive too. And I'd love to get a, an MMPR Black with the Defender Vest from Operation Overdrive. To then be able to have an older Adam, older Adam Park head sculpt as well. So... Hopefully next year we get some of those things. The figure also comes with the two interchangeable hands. So you have this hand with the four symbol. I I don't really know when she did this in the show. I do have to rewatch it. It's been a long time since I've watched it. I don't know where four comes in because it's not like she was number four on the team or anything like that. So it'll definitely be cool when I do a rewatch to see when this was used. And then that's the interchangeable one for the left hand. And then for the right hand, you have a straight palm for like a karate chop or something like that. Or if you just want to like point in the hand up to the sky type of thing for a pose. So those are the two interchangeable hands. And then I have her in her once a ranger pose when she stands with the team. Can't wait to hopefully get the others for that. But those are her interchangeable hands and the accessories that come with Dino Thunder Yellow. Now let's show off all sides of her with this. Let's stand her up. All right. You got her like that. Let's show off all sides of her. So as you can see, she has... The excellent double jointed knees and elbows with that are pinless, which I love that, especially for female sculpts. I love pinless because it makes it much easier to pose them. It makes it feel like less that like there's not high of a chance that it's going to break. Like you don't feel as though you have to walk on eggshells with the figure. And it does come with the awesome Terra Grip accessories, which I do love that it has. You know, it has all the diamonds showing. The white diamonds going down the suit. And the excellent Pterodactyl motif helmet. And you get that awesome Dino Lunder insignia with it. The awesome Dino Lunder insignia on the chest. So let's go ahead and show off. The whole Dino Thunder team that we have right now. Alright, so that is Power Rangers Dino Thunder. And can't wait to see Dino Thunder Black in Wave 14 next year. So that is all for this video. Make sure to... Make sure, if you like this video, to subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell for notifications. Also, make sure to check out, check out the giveaway video. There is less than two weeks left... So definitely check out that video, watch it in its entirety, and in the description below, you'll see the names for our Twitter and Instagram channels. Head on over there, follow our channels for all news and updates, and I will be back with more Lightning Collection themed videos, especially showing off the rest of Wave 12, and I'm going to be doing predictions for Lightning Collection next year, what I hope to see, everything like that. So make sure to chew... Make sure to continue tuning in to Rangers of the Universe. And I'll see you soon with more Lightning Collection videos. Because that is all for this video in Dino Thunder Yellow.